Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. In the last lecture, we talked about why Shaitan came to meet Nuh alayhi salam and Musa alayhi salam. And that gives us the answer as to why Shaitan never repented. If Shaitan ever repented, then why was he never forgiven? So we have already spoken about that. So I ask you, would you like to know if Shaitan visited other prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And a lot of you showed interest that you want to learn about that. So today I would like to talk to you about Shaitan coming to Ibrahim alayhi salam. And this happened when Ibrahim alayhi salam was taking Ismail alayhi salam to slaughter him. And that was a result of a dream that Ibrahim alayhi salam saw. Imam Abdul Razak, Ibn Jarir, Imam Hakim, Imam Bayhaqi in Shu'bul Iman, all of these people have uh, reported this from Ka'b radiallahu anhu, that Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam saw in a dream that he is slaughtering his son Ismail alayhi salam. So Shaitan, when came to know about this, Shaitan said that, this is the time that I can deviate these special servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from doing something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered them to do. So when Ibrahim alayhi salam took Ismail alayhi salam so that he can slaughter him, Shaitan went to the wife of Ibrahim alayhi salam and said, do you know where Ibrahim alayhi salam is taking your son? So the wife said that Ibrahim alayhi salam is taking his son because he needs him. They are doing something together. And Shaitan said, no, no, he is taking Ismail to slaughter him. So the wife said, why would anybody slaughter his own son? So Shaitan said, because he thinks that he will please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by doing so. So the wife said, if it's Allah's order, then of course I am extremely you know, pleased with it. I have no complaints about it. So Shaitan was very disappointed and he left and he came and met Ismail alayhi salam and said, do you know where your father is taking you? Ismail alayhi salam said, probably he's taking me somewhere where he wants me to do something. And then Shaitan said, no, no, he's taking you to a, a place where he can slaughter you. And Ismail alayhi salam said, why would he do that? And Shaitan said, because that's what he thinks Allah has ordered him to do so. And Ismail alayhi salam said, if Allah wants me to be slaughtered, then so be it. Shaitan was extremely disappointed there as well and went to Ibrahim alayhi salam and repeated the same question. Where are you taking your son? Ibrahim alayhi salam said, I have, to, I have to take him to go someplace. I have some business to do. And Shaitan said, no, no, you're taking him so that you can go and slaughter him. And Ibrahim salam said, why would I do that? And Shaitan said, because you believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered you to do so. So Ibrahim alayhi salam said, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered me to do so, then I will do it. And Shaitan was disappointed again. So, And this is the report of a few scholars. And Ibn Jarir and Ibn Abi Hatim brings another narration through Qatada radiallahu anhu. He said then when Ibrahim alayhi salam was given the order of taking his son to slaughter him, yeah, to slaughter the son. So Ibrahim alayhi salam said to his son, um, oh my son, can you breathe, please bring the knife. And Shaitan said, this is the time where I can deceive Ibrahim alayhi salam and deviate him from doing what he is planning on doing. So he appeared to Ibrahim alayhi salam as one of the friends of Ibrahim alayhi salam and the same conversation happened and he was disappointed. So then he approached Ismail alayhi salam and likewise approached the wife of Ibrahim alayhi salam in all places he was completely disappointed as nobody listened to him. So now that he was totally disappointed in, from all three individuals, so he wanted to block the way of Ibrahim alayhi salam. So he went and he went past the mina where we have the Jamratul Uqba, uh, that's where uh, he blocked the way. And with Ibrahim alayhi salam was one of the angels. Uh, most probably it was Jibra'il alayhi salam and he said Ya Ibrahim why don't you pick seven pebbles and hit towards this route that apparently appears to you as if it's closed and every time you throw a pebble at this uh, place you should say Allahu Akbar when he did that on the seventh pebble the route became clear so he then went to Jamratul uh, Wusta which is the middle Jamrah and that's exactly what Shaitan did again he closed the route and Ibrahim alayhi salam repeated the process the route opened up and then 
when he was close to Jumratul Ula, Shaitan did the same thing. And Ibrahim alayhi salam threw seven pebbles at the Shaitan. Uh, and every time he would throw a pebble, he would say, Allahu Akbar. And even this route opened up. So Ibrahim alayhi salam reached the place where he wanted to take Ismail alayhi salam. And Imam Suyuti rahimahullah also brings these two stories in Luqtul Marjan fi Ahkam al Jan under Hadith 561, 562. And 563 is also reported by Ibn Abi Hatim, Ibn Murduya, and Imam Bayhaqi in Shu'bul Iman through Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu which talks about the same thing, that shaitan came to Ibrahim alayhi salam in three different places and wanted to stop him. And Jibreel alayhi salam told Ibrahim alayhi salam to throw see seven pebbles at shaitan and he opened the way. So these stories are reported in several different books by several different individuals. So these are the places where shaitan came to meet Ibrahim alayhi salam, Ismail alayhi salam, and the wife of Ibrahim alayhi salam. So inshallah ta'ala in the next time, uh, in the next lecture, we can talk about shaitan coming and meeting other prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Again, if you're interested, please write down in the comment section below and inshallah ta'ala we will talk about that.